This is the first time we've had a test program that looks at manufactured housing. I don't care where you live, how much you can afford to spend, you ought to be able to go to sleep at night and think that your walls and roof will still be there the next time there's a storm. How do we make it safer for our customers? How do we give them the information they need to protect the American dream? I think that's what it's all about. We're very excited about the fact that American Modern wants to work with us to give those policyholders the very best types of science-based guidance that they can have. We wanted to start with sort of reflecting the weak structures and then see how we could strengthen those, but we also wanted to look at new designs, the designs that meet the code today and see how well they perform. There's about 8.5 million manufactured homes out there. We want to make sure that we do everything we can to make it better for our customers in terms of safety. We know the devastation that wind can bring. What better than to use this testing facility to understand the impact of wind? What we'd like consumers to understand is that the attached structures are typically subject to much lower levels of regulation than the structure itself, the home or the manufactured home. So these carports and awnings and things like that fail at much lower wind speeds. They become debris. They can cause damage to the manufactured home as they rip away. So it is an area of concern. So if we have one message for people, it's, it's good that you know you have a vulnerability with your carport or otherwise attached structure. The best thing to do probably is to replace it with a newer structure rather than to continue to try to retrofit in numerous ways because the cost at some point is going to exceed the value of that original carport. The industry that we're in cares. We want to make sure that we do everything we can to make it better for our customers. 